week with conspiracy theorist David Icke, live in studio. The British former soccer player was set to make his 11th visit to Australia to do a speaking tour. You guys have heard of him, right? Exactly. Not, perhaps not everybody has. Uh, it's been suggested. Um, uh, he's been accused of having some really anti-Semitic views, uh, some strange um, sci-fi implications with uh, reptiles on, in, on Earth. Well, he was supposed to come to Australia, but late yesterday he had his visa cancelled. It's believed he's been banned from entering our country because of claims he is anti-Semitic and is a Holocaust cost denier. David Icke joins us now live from Los Angeles for this TV excuse exclusive. David, welcome to the show. Thank you. I wish I was with you. <laughs> now, I, I guess the first thing, we've, first things first, let's clear it up. Are you anti-Semitic and do you deny that the Holocaust took place? No. You see, if you can't discredit someone uh, by telling the truth and you tell lies, uh, there was an absolute catastrophe for Jewish people in Nazi Germany. Uh, and one of the things that I'm seeking to do and have done for 30 years is to highlight the Nazi mentality and the uh, tyrannical uh, mentality that's taking away freedoms all over the world. So, um, ironically, um, I'm the opposite of how I'm painted. Uh, there was a, um, a, a Labour Party candidate, I think his name's uh, Josh Burns or something, who mm. was quoted in the newspapers in the last week saying that I am campaigning for Holocaust denial to be taught in the schools. So you believe the Holocaust this did happen? This is extraordinary. So you believe the Holocaust yes, of course, did happen? Of, of course, of course. Of course a fantastic catastrophe happened for but Jewish you aren't people saying, in Nazi uh, Germany. You're not actually answering the question, did the Holocaust happen? You, you keep saying catastrophe. That's the difference to Holocaust. Mm. Just clear that up. Is it a catastrophe or a Holocaust? Am I, am I denying the Holocaust happened? No, I'm not. Clearly, um, th there was a, 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 an unspeakable... Um, happening there and we should make sure it doesn't happen again but let me point this out what do Nazis do what do Stalinists do whenever they get power they want to shut down all exposure of themselves all information that gives people a different view of them they burn books they shut down public meetings now what on earth is a so-called democracy um, allowing itself to use methods of tyrannies to shut down debate. We have thousands, thousands of Australians from all walks of life, of every age. When I spoke in Sydney last time, the age range was 15 to 90, um, who have bought tickets to um, make a decision to hear what I've got to say and then come to a conclusion on what they hear, who now are being denied that right. And what has happened to me? It's not about me. It's actually about what this says about the current nature of Australian society, which I'm finding all over the world. The debate is being shut down. You have to believe certain narratives. Two of the things, by the way, that the Minister for Immigration, David uh, Coleman, uh, uh, put in uh, the, uh, the, the statement for me not being allowed in was my views on vaccines and global warming. But let's have a debate then. Instead of shutting it down, you must believe this or you're not coming in the country. And as um, David Coleman admitted quite openly in this document, I have come into Australia to speak 10 times since 1997. And he admits in the document there's never been a problem. So why now? Because as I become more and more popular and more and more people come to the events, there's a more and more incentive to stop what I'm saying being circulated so that only one narrative is ever heard, and that's called a tyranny. Where do where these accusations that you're anti-Semitic come from then? You've got you have famously controversial views, including that there are reptilian lizard people living amongst us and so forth. Where do these claims of anti-Semitism stem from? What happens is um, you can name 90% uh, of people in a book who are not Jewish and 5%, 10% who are. And instead of saying, well, you know, in every community, in every culture, in every um, income bracket, 
you're going to have the same range of people. You're going to have lovely people, you're going to have okay people, and you're going to have a few psychopaths and manipulators. The, the problem is, I can say that about Chinese manipulators, I can say it about American manipulators, British manipulators, French manipulators, as I do, but you name anyone who's Jewish and immediately you're an anti-Semite. No, no, I don't care if they're out of Mongolian. I care about what they're doing. And, that, and, 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 and producing the evidence for that. that that's what it's about. And, and this, is, um, this is a way of shutting down legitimate investigation. Uh, if, if I am exposing the Italian mafia, am I condemning all Italian people? Crazy. Okay. Um, speaking of crazy, David, do you uh, believe that um, the world is being manipulated by shape-shifting reptiles that, uh, that are possibly Jews who control the world through Rothschild? Is that... Well, I mean, you know, people, people would have to read my books for the detail about that. But let me say this. I'm so saying that's a yes? that there are, there, are, there are family bloodlines that were seeded all over the world. Uh, and, the, you know, the, the ancient whom? cultures... By who? The ancient cultures, well, by, by a non-human force. This is where you get in the Bible, for instance, the sons of God are interbred with the daughters of men, which is a story that you find in cultures all over the world, so whether it's the African culture or whatever. people all over the world a long time ago, and yeah. they, they are resulting in being human forms, yeah. and they are lizards. You've been watching way too much V in the 80s. Uh, you, 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 you've, you, you've not series. been doing enough research into the background. That's, that's the problem. But the, the point is that I'm saying that these uh, bloodlines were seeded everywhere in every culture. Mm. So where, where's this, um, their Jews come from? What, do they take from? their face it off comes when from, they go to bed, it comes, or what? It, 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 uh, Sorry, I, I thought I was going to have an intelligent conversation here. I clearly not. So, David, David, are we going to have an intelligent conversation or what? David, I sort what of. What do you think? I, I, I don't agree with a, a lot of what you said. I, I don't agree with your stance on you, you, on immunisation. Let you, me finish. You, Let me finish for one second. You, I don't agree with you, your you, thoughts you on climate change you don't, or you reptilian don't have a clue people. What I'm saying. But what I what I do agree with is that you should actually be able to speak because Ooh. we live in a democracy, and I am a big supporter of free speech. And I think what happens when the government then stops people people like you coming to the country to talk and, and to have their say, it actually emboldens people who support you and then they jump on the bandwagon that the, the government is trying to shut down free speech and there is a conspiracy theory to shut down free speech. What do you think about our government letting in people like convicted, convicted rapist Mike Tyson, uh, wife basher Charlie Sheen? I mean, you've been stopped from entering the country because of your your views. What do you think about people who are let in who've actually committed crimes? That's up to people to decide if they think they are going to be a danger to um, society. I mean, if, you, if you're going to have a, a, a serial killer come into the country, then obviously you have to say, hold on a minute, uh, do, we, do we want this person here? But that, w what we're talking about in my case is not violence. I, I'm the most non-violent person you could ever meet. It's about information. It's about opinion. And you are quite right in what you've just said. Once you start um, having governments dictate what people can see and uh, not see, you, you are in a tyranny. You're controlling the narrative. And surely in any free, open, mature society, People uh, have access to all information available and then they are free to make their opinion and their perceptions based on that information. Once you start skewing the information and saying you can hear this but you can't hear that, then that's how tyrannies work and that's why Nazis burned the books and Nazis shut down public meetings and the Stalinists did the same. That's what tyrannies do. And the fact that it's now happening in Australia, as it's happening in other countries, including my own, shows you that we're going down a very dark, dangerous Orwellian road, which I know from the last 24 hours, a lot of Australians of all walks of life are very, very concerned about the way this is going. I, I, think, I think there's certainly an argument for free speech, uh, David. I must confess I had not heard of you until I found out that you'd been banned. But I still feel like we haven't actually established the, the core reason, which is why uh, Josh Burns and um, members of the Jewish community petitioned the minister to ban you. Do you actually believe that between 6 and 12 million Jews were killed by the Nazis and the Germans in World War II? Between 6 and 12 million? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know... It, 
it could have been 5.5 million, it could have been 6 million, it could okay, have been 6.5 million. Millions. Do you believe million. millions of Jews but were killed a, by the a, Nazis? A, a, a vast number of people died quite clearly in concentration camps run by Nazis, which... Not just concentration um, camps, they rounded up and shot like animals. Which shut down um, the ability to expose what they were doing. If, if the Nazis had uh, not a shut down opposition, how much of what was going on in Nazi Germany would people have known earlier? And maybe a lot of that would not have happened. Uh, this is what happens when you shut down the free flow of information. David, it keep, should not be happening David, in democracies. David, you just keep tiptoeing around what, what should be an easy and direct question, as Joe has asked. Do you believe millions of uh, Jewish people were rounded up, shot, gassed during the, the war? Yes or no? Millions, yes. Did or millions no. of people die in the concentration camps? Yes. Okay, of and do I you know so, who so, the reptilians so are? Do you actually know? in today's society who the reptiles are, who were seeded long ago and it's come through the generations. Do you know their names? People would have to read my books for the detail. Okay, the I'll background. get your book today and I'll you have, a, have you a crack at it, but you, can you, you, can't, just, you can't, just give me one? You can't do this in sound bites. No, but can you... Get, I know do, some of them. Well, I'm asking you, do you know who they are? Are they in positions of, of high rank? Yes, they are. They're in positions of power, absolutely. Are they Jewish people who and, and, work for the Rothschild organisation? Some of them are. Most of them aren't. So, so again, you know, you, when you're talking about a range of people from a range of backgrounds, why suddenly, because you mention someone who's Jewish, is that kind of, oh, no, you're anti-Semitic? Why aren't I anti-Chinese and anti-American and anti-British and anti-French when I name people from those countries? Mm. It's crazy. Mm. And, and so um, this is what happens um, when you... Yeah, we, we have uh, heard have cutting down the debate. You... Yeah, you've said that about seven yeah. or eight times. Uh, got it, David? Uh, I've got to say, I'm with um, Sarah. I believe if people are crazy enough to pay money to hear you speak, you should be allowed to. That right. is called free speech. Well, pe people are crazy enough to listen to this program every morning. How crazy can you get? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Indeed. David Icke, thanks point. for joining us. <laughs> hey, you got... You, you, David, you got a, a national audience. Don't complain. Um, well, there you go. Um, we'll, um, we'll see what goes from here. Yep. Mm. Okay. Thanks very much, David. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Bye. All righty.